Some people think we'll see a cut. Obviously, that depends on whether the Fed you know, manages to break anything in the economy, which is perfectly possible. In a recent interview, Guy, a crypto analyst from Coin Bureau, discussed the current state of cryptocurrency and its impact on the market in 2023. He highlighted an ongoing tug of war between those who believe the worst is over and those who anticipate further developments. While Guy leans towards a bullish outlook, he acknowledges persisting challenges and the possibility of the market declining further. He also predicts that interest rates will cause more difficulties and mentions the Federal Reserve's determination to combat inflation. Despite the obstacles, Guy maintains that crypto is more resilient than previously thought, offering opportunities for significant gains in the sector. Let's delve into the interview with Guy from Coin Bureau as he provides a market update on Bitcoin, the crypto market, and what lies ahead in 2023. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to drop your comment and observations in the comment section below. Thanks and enjoy the video. I'm still in the short term kind of fairly bearish, so I'm happy to just kind of sit on the sidelines, watch this play out, keep my powder dry. Um, because, yeah, I think it's just so difficult to know exactly what we're going to see play out over the coming months. So I feel like a bit of a more neutral observer, just kind of sitting back and going, do you know what? I'm not going to dive into anything at the moment. I just want to I want to see how this plays out. And obviously that kind of ties into my job, which is to talk about it and tell people what I'm seeing. So I think that that kind of makes it easier as well. I'm less kind of emotional about it at the moment. How bullish is the Bitcoin having? I think certainly it fits nicely into the market cycle that crypto has been in for, you know, for most of its existence now. So I think that narrative enough will be, you know, will help to drive more speculation, will help to drive some positive price action. But I think so much depends. Uh, when's the, uh, the halving is uh, April next year, I think. So we've got about sort of six or well we've got about six or seven months left of this year and i think what i would be hoping to see what would make me a lot more positive about what we see in, in april and before is if we start to really see inflation get hammered by those high rates in the states i think you know they'll have to keep them high for quite some time i think a pause is most is almost certainly on the cards at some point some people think we'll see a cut obviously that depends on whether the fed you know, manages to break anything in the economy, which is perfectly possible. So what I'll be looking out for is a generally kind of more positive sentiment uh, about the markets as we come towards the end of the year. I'm not expecting to see things sort of miraculously better, but I would hope that inflation is is really sort of under control and firmly on its way down by the end of the year. There's talk about cutting rates. Obviously, a rate cut doesn't necessarily mean that the market is go up. Quite often, a rate cut means that something has broken in the system. So just having uh, rates go lower isn't necessarily going to supercharge the market. But I would be hoping to see some green shoots and some all around sort of better, greater positivity about not just crypto, but I think the, the whole economic picture in general. And I guess some clarity on whether or not we're going to see a recession in the United States and and elsewhere. The UK, for instance, just sort of narrow, really narrowly avoided a recession by the skin of its teeth. But, um, you know, the, the, the possibility is still there. So I think some clarity on that, you know, markets love certainty, don't they? So I think if we uh, if we know where we stand, I think that could be helpful as well. I think we'll see, obviously, we'll see the halving in uh, in early 2024. That should, as long as we stick to the cycle, that should mean uh, that the price kind of gradually climbs over that over the rest of that year. To early 2025, I think the 1st of January 2025 is the date when central banks will be able to hold Bitcoin, uh, will be able to hold crypto on their balance sheets. They'll be able to hold up to 2% of their reserves in crypto that could be a huge catalyst so i would say i i don't think 2024 2025 is is when i think we could see all-time highs again realistically i think there are enough voices in the us in in congress and elsewhere who realize that america's losing ground now and Look, I mean, we've got Hong Kong opening up uh, retail crypto trading uh, in a fortnight's time. I think 1st of June, that, that's due to happen. So there's already this push underway to attract the industry elsewhere. You know, Asia is where a lot of people think the next bull market is going to stem from. 
So the impetus, the you know, the, I think people in the U.S. understand that that they have to sort something out quick. Obviously, as well, you guys have got an election um, coming up next year. That could, of course, if you see um, the Republicans get in, whoever whoever they end up uh, as their candidate. Um, that could be very positive for crypto as well, because at the moment there does seem to be more support from crypto from for, for for crypto from that side of the aisle. So that could play on it as well. But I'm just not holding my breath when it comes to regulations in the US because I think they've had so long to do it, and there just seems to be this ingrained hostility to crypto there. And I think more likely we're going to see increasing efforts from Asia, from the Middle East, from Europe as well, to uh, to lure the industry there. So I think the U.S. has got got to act fast for that to be the for that to be the case. I think my best bit of advice is bide your time. I don't think there's a rush at the moment. This is classic bear market territory that we're in. Sentiment is low interest is low. At times, it doesn't seem like there's an awful lot happening, especially from a price perspective. Use that time wisely. Use it to research projects that you're interested in. Get to grips with the fundamentals. I mean, I imagine people who've been in crypto for a while are probably probably uh, pretty sound in that area. But yeah, don't be afraid to don't be afraid of downtime and and doing nothing. Just use it as an opportunity to learn. Because I mean, as you and I both know, there's there's always there's always more to know. It's been a, an interesting sort of few months, hasn't it? I don't think uh, I don't think many people were were expecting it to kind of go the way it has. It seems to have got dare I say it, a little bit boring at the moment, certainly the last few weeks. I think I think one thing that's had a, a really kind of big effect on the market, and I, I noticed this especially at weekends, is the shutdown of things like Silvergate, um, its Sen, and the um, Silicon Valley Bank as well. I, I, I think, the, I think the, the attack on the crypto sort of banking sector has really kind of made things more difficult. It seems to be, from what I'm hearing, a lot harder, especially for institutions uh, to get money into and out of the market. So I think that's sucked a lot of liquidity out. And I think that's a big reason why we've kind of seen a lot of this sideways price action over the last few weeks. So I think that's had a big impact. And I, I guess, I guess that was very much the plan. According to Guy in his economic analysis, the performance of the U.S. economy holds significant influence over global markets, particularly the cryptocurrency market. He emphasizes that the market crashes observed were necessary to prevent more severe crashes in the future. Guy expresses concern about the potential delay in the economy's recovery if underlying issues persist. However, he highlights the strength of the U.S. economy, as well as the close connection between Bitcoin, other crypto markets, central bank actions, regulations, and global economic conditions. He suggests keeping a close eye on these factors in the coming months. What are your thoughts on the recent interview with Guy from Coin Bureau and his predictions for Bitcoin and the crypto market in 2023? Share your comments below. For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.